If y'all are subscribed to Willie D's channel, you probably have already seen or gotten wind of the story that I'm about to talk about right now. And yes, we are about to go back to the Alphabet Academy. We have not we're not going to be talking about the T class today. We are going to the G class where you have this story that has come out of Missouri with this guy right here by the name of uh, Police Sergeant Keith Wildhaber, who I kid you not was just awarded $20 million because he was told by some people in his department to tone down his gayness. I will leave the link pinned down below in case you do not believe a word that is coming out of my mouth. But even if I didn't leave a link, it wouldn't surprise anybody. But they they are literally just handing out money to people now because of that comment. Meanwhile, whenever ADOS brings up the topic of reparations, we get so much pushback from everybody. But they just gave this man $20 million because someone told him to tone down his gayness. I cannot make this shit up. A jury awarded nearly $20 million to a police officer in Missouri who alleged that his department discriminated against him over his sexual orientation and said he was told to tone down your gayness. St. Louis County Police Sergeant Keith Wildhaber was performing a routine security check at a local restaurant in 2014 when the owner offered up some surprising career advice according to a 2017 lawsuit. While Haber was applying to be promoted to lieutenant, the lawsuit said, and word has gotten around to owner John Saraceno, who was also in the St. Louis County Port of Police Commissioners at the time. The command staff has a problem with your sexuality, Saraceno allegedly told Wild Haber, according to the lawsuit. If you ever want to see a white shirt, i.e. get a promotion, you should tone down your gayness. Now, I will say this. Was that person wrong for saying that, especially to his face, knowing damn well the climate we live in, especially with the Alphabet Academy getting all these rights and whatnot? That wasn't the smartest thing for him to do. I will say that. However, how many times have black people been gunned down unarmed in these streets by people who look like this guy right here wearing the same type of uniform and they don't even get close to that? Meanwhile, you had Justine... That Justine chick and her family, well, she's deceased, well, her family getting around the same amount of money. But when Corinne Gaines was killed, when they ambushed her in her house, in her apartment while her kids were there, they were supposed to give her like 30 something million dollars. But then right at the last minute, they took it back and it scaled down to like less than 10 million dollars, if not 10 at the most. So it seems like whenever unarmed black bodies are piling up in the streets from these pigs, we always get the short end of the stick on the financial side if there's a settlement to be made. But this guy got awarded $20 million because they said he needs to tone down his gayness. Like I said, it was it was disrespectful for the guy to actually come out and say that like as blatant as he did. But $20 million, though, that's a bit much for a uh, for a comment, whether it be bad or indifferent they made it seem like they were torturing this guy on a physical front and they beat him up or you know whatever but they just he just verbally said that and he gets 20 million dollars i wonder if i can get a if i can get that amount of money if i went out and said i'm too black probably not otherwise we would get our reparations uh, let's see here. Saraceno has denied the conversation even took place. Wild Haber, then a 20 year veteran of the department, didn't get that promotion. Now, there is another flip side to this. This guy, like many people in that Alphabet Academy have been known to do, could be lying about this. That could be the flip side to this. He could be lying. They have been known to lie before in the past to get their way. And despite stellar performance reviews and the support of his supervisor, the lawsuit alleged he was passed up for numerous other promotions because he does not conform to the county's gender based norms, expectation and or preferences. A month after Wild Haber filed a complaint to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission in the Missouri Commission on Human Rights, he was reassigned from his afternoon shift to a midnight shift in a precinct that was about 27 miles from where he lived. 
Following his reassignment, Wildhaber filed another discrimination charge, this time alleging unlawful retaliation. The lawsuit states that the department discriminated against him because it believes he does not fit the stereotypical norms of what a male should be. He might as well just come out there and say toxic masculinity. And when they say that this guy said he needs to tone down the gayness, I wonder if he's being like flamboyant, so to speak. You couldn't tell by looking at this picture. But it makes you wonder, like, if you could be a fly on the wall, what like, what kind of mannerisms does this guy have? Was he switching when he walked? Did he have a certain effeminate tone in his voice? Did he hold his wrist a certain way? Like, we don't know what it was. But when he writes that particular comment, it lets me believe that maybe he had a little bit too much sugar in his tank. I don't, ironically, tank. <laughs> let me just continue. After the jury's decision Friday, county officials called for police department leadership to step down. St. Louis County Executive Sam Page said in a statement Sunday that the county will soon begin appointing new members to the police board, which oversees the police chief. An announcement on the changes would be forthcoming. The current police board and current police chief have served the county faithfully for years. Page said the time for leadership changes has come and change must start at the top. The St. Louis County Police Department did not return multiple calls and emails from CNN. The St. Louis County Police Association, the union that represents St. Louis County police officers, said in a statement on Facebook that contract negotiations with the department had been delayed over its unwillingness to agree, excuse me, to protect our organization's ability to fight against and remedy internal discrimination and retaliation. The St. Louis County Police Association has a long history of fighting for equality For all of our members, the Post read, while we were extremely embarrassed of the alleged actions of some of our department's senior commanders, we look forward to the healing process that can begin to take place now that this has been heard in open court. Sam Moore, Wildhaber's attorney, applauded the jury's decision. We are ecstatic for our client and has been an honor and a privilege to have been a part of this historic verdict. This has been a long and difficult role for Keith. His bravery and courage and standing up for what is right should be an inspiration for employees everywhere. Now, here's the scary part here. Besides the fact that that $20 million ain't going to come out of that department in which he just sued and won because it's going to come out of the taxpayers' pockets. This could lead to a president where this could trickle down. I always tell you all about the domino effect. This could trickle down to other places where all a person who's a part of the Alphabet Academy can simply say somebody said something about my sexual orientation or how I choose to live a certain lifestyle in a very derogatory way, I would like to take out a lawsuit and sue them for this amount of money and then they can get paid. And if they don't, all they'll do is refer back to this case right here and say, make it happen. Like I said, for all intensive purposes, this guy right here could have lied. But two things he had on his side. One is the obvious. He's palm colored. Actually, he had two things. One, he's palm colored. Two, he's a cop. And three, he's a part of the Alphabet Academy, which heavily caters to people of the palm colored community, whether it be man or woman. Now, had this been a a black cop that was doing this? Let's be real here. It wouldn't have gone very far. Why I say that? Because look at all the discrimination a lot of black cops face in the departments already just based on their race alone. You really think they're going to take their time out to organize something like this for a $20 million payout? And that might even be a stretch because someone made fun of them because of the way they choose to live their life as far as in a sexuality way. Yeah, that that ain't happening. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one.